guys, today I'm making this captain's bed with a drawer and bookcase, along with this little lamp, and then just tossing in some accessories from other tutorials. I really like captain's beds, I've always thought they were super cool, so I hope you guys enjoy this craft. As always, if you make this craft, please tag me on Instagram, I'd love to see it. And kids, do be sure and ask your parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys! So I just start here with a lot of cardboard. I've cut it into pieces and I'm sizing it for this little old doll here, whom my daughter calls Baby Nikki, but I also leave room for the bookcase. So that particular piece, the bed frame, is almost a square of about three and a half inches and the back piece, so the height, is three inches. I wrap all of my pieces in paper, but you may just want to wrap a few at a time because you may have to make adjustments as you end up gluing things together and assemble. Gluing my side pieces, which are one and three quarters of an inch tall. Then I slide in a piece that's the same size as the bottom, and this will be what actually holds the mattress and bookcase, the base for my bookcase, and cut out a piece to fit along the front to fill that gap. The sides of my bookcase. And top. And once I assemble the frame, I can cut out more pieces to create a drawer, making sure that everything will fit underneath, and leaving a little bit of room for the paper once wrapped. I paint my frame with glossy black acrylic paint. Then assemble my drawer. Confirm it fits. And just cutting out one additional piece for the front. Then I glue and paint. For the mattress, just cutting out a piece of cardboard. And to soften it up, I'm wrapping it in a paper towel. I can tape down, confirm it fits, and wrap in fabric. And yes, I did get hot glue on myself, so obviously you want to be very careful when you're gluing uh, your mattress. Pop it in. For a perfect fit. I cut off sections of a straw for door handles and use gems for detail. Then I sew a little pillow. I really like to sew but if you don't you can always just glue your fabric together. So I tie off the string sew two sides tie again, and I always double or triple knot my ties, flip it inside out, and you can just use something to kind of poke out the corners. Then I stuff it with batting, and I just don't know how to close my edges very well with sewing, so I usually just glue them. But of course, if you're more talented, if you're more skilled at sewing than I am, then you'll know how to do that well. My lamp is a coffee stirrer and bead. I paint the coffee stirrer. Mine was dark brown. I wanted it black. And glue to my bead. And the lampshade I make from paper tape. I place it on a piece of paper to make it a bit sturdier. Trim. Wrap around a marker to give it shape and glue in place. And here just cutting off a thin strip of cardstock, which I can glue to the top of my lampshade. And when it dries, I trim, glue a tiny little bead along the top for detail, and glue to my copy stirrer or a super easy tiny little lamp. I add my lamp, and now these are just accessories from other videos, books from my classroom, a little diary, jewelry, 
perfume, and I will link to these in the description section. An alarm clock, Yankee candle, and of course, cell phone. I add my little doll, and guys, you are so totally good to go. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make. Thanks guys!